Mr. Beast just dropped this banger. And if you hear this on the go, then the back of the phone, then the knees, then you shake it to the max. Did you please tell me the pace to the max? Please just rewind, let me shake it to the max. There are many tutorials on the internet, but believe me, no one explained this complex rate that how you can also be in this edit. But don't worry, I'll show you how. Let's begin. First of all, take your most handsome image and go to ChatGPT. Upload your image with this prompt to flex your money because we can't in real life. And you have to wait till one hour if you are a free user. After generating some images, go to a face swap website and swap your face with the AI. Now we are ready with images, but you have seen that Mr. Beast Edit also has this smooth person to person transition. Transition. This is done by obviously AI. But I'm gonna show you how you can do this too in Filmora Mobile. Go to image to video transformation, drop those two images you want the transition to happen between, and here's the result. Super cool. After that, drop the same AI generated clip into the timeline and add the trending music going on right now, which is shake it to the max. I'm gonna take the part I want in the edit and let's add beats on it by clicking beats. Don't go for any AI beats or drums because that would mess up the beat position. I just you to do it by yourself. Also, add beats one frame before the beat hits. That's really very important. You know why. After that, I adjust the AI clip according to the music and then I'll drop all the AI generated photos of mine. Okay, so I forgot to tell this, but be sure the project aspect ratio is 4 is to 5. This is because my images are in that ratio. If you have portrait photos, go ahead. Now, finally, it's time to add all the money flexing images. And as you can see, as I drop the images, I repeatedly decrease their size to match it with the beat. You can also make them image to video within Filmora. That would be a nice idea. I'm fitting all the images to the screen for transition. After that, it's time to add zoom in animation using keyframe. Go to the first keyframe and increase exposure so that it will give a flash effect. Now repeat the same thing for every clip. But when the song's rhythm changes, you have to give it a zoom out keyframe. Again, if rhythm changes, you can switch from zoom out to in. After that, go to animations and give this in animation effect with 0.2 seconds or 0.1 seconds of latency for better output. Looks badass, right? But not much because there is nothing on the beat drop section. So I decided to add a glitch effect on that section. This particular effect also gives a choppy low resolution look, which is also good for our transition. If you guys no. Also, please note, this is totally optional. So finally, after adding subtle color corrections and a filter, this is how the final output looks. I hope you like the video. If you like, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.